relates to a woman who's cooking during the fast. Is she allowed to taste the food? As long as the person who's cooking the food, whether it be a gent cook or lady cook, the hadith in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of fasting, chapter number 25, it says Ibn Abbas, he narrated that tasting food from the pots or meals, it does not break the fast. This is a Mu'allah hadith of Bukhari, but it is connected along with Sayyid Ibn Shayba and Bahaki, and the chain goes on. It makes it Sahih. And it says that Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, he says that tasting vinegar and food while fasting. So all these hadith prove that while fasting, a person can taste food, but you have to be careful. The food should not enter your throat. You should not swallow the food. And that is the reason the scholars say that if it's required, you should do it. Otherwise not. For example, Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal, he says that tasting food is makru, unless it's a necessity. Same with Sheikh ibn Taymiyyah. He says that it is makru unless it's a necessity. And while it's a necessity, if a woman is cooking food, she has to place the food on the tip of the tongue. So that she realizes whether the food is sweet or salty, and then she should spit it out. She should not swallow it. So that will not break her fast. Or if a mother wants to give food to the baby, and the only way she can give is by chewing it. So she's permitted to chew the food and then give it to the baby. But care should be taken that they should not swallow any particle of the food. She should spit it out. So these are necessities where it's permissible to taste food, but unnecessary. Just because you're feeling hungry and you taste it, it's makhru, though it will not break the fast. Makhru is discouraged. It will not break the fast. But otherwise, for a necessity, it can be done. But care should be taken. It does not go down the throat. It should not be swallowed. After tasting, the food should be spat out. Okay, I'm glad that you uh, corrected me in a way and said uh, we're not gender specific. Because, of course, we know that men do cook and they should be encouraged to do so as well.